Hi all, TJ Dagger here. Um, been asked to put together a little video uh, to do with posing troops, animations, that sort of thing. Um, certainly not an expert on it, but I'm happy to share what I know, or what at least what I think I know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just write a little script here, um, just to illustrate yep. how to how to test and um, how to test animations to see what you're getting. So, um, okay, first up, uh, let's call it animation. Uh, I'm not going to put a condition in because we want this to just fire on a loop, basically, so we can test some of the animations and have a look at and see what they do. So, I'm going to put in a little delay of two seconds. I'm going to add uh, animation. Um, I'm going to give my guy a tag. So, we'll select him. Control T to bring that up. Let's call him Tom. So in here I'm just going just gonna to give him the tag Tom as well, so we know who we're talking about. Now, in here is where we want to put the animation name. So, how do we find out what that is? Okay, so what we want to do is, we want to go to your Assault Squad 2 folder. Okay, and there's a resource folder in there, and then there's a game logic pack. Um, you can open these with something like uh, Win WinRAR. I think I'm using WinZip would probably do it too. So just double click that to open it. Um, okay, so under the properties, and then in animation, human, here we'll find a big long list of all the different animations that are available for. Um, for humans. So let's grab what's in the idle here. I think I, there's one about sleep in here somewhere. Here we go. What's this one? Give up. So we're just going to copy that name. We don't need the dot .anm. Okay, we leave that off. We just want the actual file name which is walk give up one. So I've just copied that paste it into there and uh, we can either put it on uh, a loop or not so let's have a quick look here I'm going to add another delay of two seconds then I'm going to add a trigger here also to reset the trigger and we're just going to press start so there he puts his hands up Okay, so it's looping over, so we can put that on loop. And there he keeps his hands up. So, and with, with it still running, um, with this little, with it, my trigger's an actual loop, I can go in here and I can grab something else. Let's see. Uh, copy that. Paste that in there. Get rid of the dot ANM. take the loop off. Okay, so you might be stuck on that, so let's drop, drop the orders and sensor. Okay, that stopped him from continuing the other loop. <coughs> okay, so if we put that on loop, what will happen now? Look at him go. Okay, so that's just testing animations to see what you're getting. 
Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll load up another mission I've made and I'll show you two practical uses where I incorporated animations just as an example. Okay so here we have uh, my map called Mount Pretty um, and in here I use some animations on the cutscene at the beginning. Um, let's see uh, There we go. Okay, I have a waypoint here that a guy arrives at after he follows it along. Um, and I have an animation here where he does like a punch maneuver. Um, and then he does another one where he steps back. So I'll play that and we'll have a look and see what happens there. Um, I also have another animation. Um, which is triggered by when a train arrives um, and it gets a bit technical it depends on which um, which clip is actually active in game at the time but anyway it sends a player to a waypoint or a, a unit to a waypoint which is one of these over here and then on these I have some animations here which are stand and turn railway switch so there's two of them so we'll have a look. I'll press play here and we'll have a look and um, see how they what they do. So this is a practical use of animations. Okay, so here comes the guy who's running along. Heading all the way to that waypoint. And then when he arrives, he reaches out, takes his step back. And then, of course, the script goes on, starts some music. Basically we have a train coming along, which when it gets to this point here, it'll tell, uh, it's a little, probably that guy here, he's the one switcher, he's been tagged, so speed this up a bit. that guy to run over, does his little animation. Now the actual switch itself that moves is not because he grabs it, it's actually, uh, it's actually an action, sorry where is it, here you go, it's an effect. Uh, that there is railway switch itself is uh, called Junction 1 and there's an effect there which does that. Okay so there's there's some practical uses of how to incorporate animation so I hope that helps you guys out. Um, yeah I'm still experimenting myself so hopefully that gets some of you guys started and I'd be keen to see what you've come up with. Um, cheers good luck guys.